The doctor will see you now. So you're looking for a great card game? Well, I got just the thing for you. Today's prescription is called Oh Sh**. And the learning level for this game is moderate. What you will need to play this game is a deck of cards. And this game is perfect for five people. Add an additional deck with every increment of five players. The object of the game is to get rid of all the cards in your hands. The player still holding cards will be the biggest loser of the game. The cards are all face value, two being the lowest and ace being the highest. Please pay attention to these cards, because these cards are the wild cards and can be played at any time. Two will reset the deck, meaning it can be played at any time and the deck will start from the bottom. Ten will clear the deck and can be played at any time. A four of a kind also clears the deck, and if you clear the deck, then your reward is to go again. You are allowed to go again only if you clear the deck with a 10 or 4 of a kind. Not a 2. First start by dealing 3 cards to everyone. The cards must be face down in front of you. Then deal 3 additional cards to everyone. This time, each card is face up on top of the face side down ones. Then deal 4 additional cards to everyone. These cards may be hidden from the rest of the players and hold these cards in your hands. Use this opportunity to replace your low cards on the table with the high ones in your hands. The higher the better. Tens and twos are fantastic as well. You're only allowed to trade off the top cards. You're not allowed to touch the bottom ones. Now that you are done, you are not allowed to touch these cards until you get rid of the cards in your hand and until the draw deck is done. The dealer will flip over the top card and place it on the table. The person to the left of the dealer will go first. They must match or beat the exposed card on the table. You are allowed to place multiple of the same cards in your hand. Remember, if you complete a four of a kind, you have successfully cleared the deck and you can lay down anything you want. But always get rid of your lowest. Once you lay down, your turn is over and the next player lays a card. Once again, matching or beating. Be sure you have a minimum of three cards in your hand at all time. Sometimes the deck gets big and reaches higher cards. If the player doesn't have anything that can beat the high card, they take a chance from the draw pile, flipping over the top card and laying it on the deck. If it beats the card, then you are safe. If not, then you must pick up the entire pile. This is where the name Oh Shit comes from. If you find that you cannot beat the deck, and there are no more cards to draw from, then you simply pick up the deck. Once you get rid of the cards in your hand, and there is no more draw deck, then you can play the cards on the table. You are only allowed to play one card at a time, even if you have multiples. If you can match or beat it, play it. If not, you must play a card and then pick up the deck. Now you must get rid of the cards in your hands before playing your cards on the table. When you get rid of the top card of your table cards, you can play the bottom card but you are not allowed to look at it. You are only allowed to play it as chance. If you beat it, awesome. If not, the deck is yours. And now here are some helpful tips. If you get stuck with the whole deck, try to get rid of your four of a kinds when you get the chance. This will free up some space in your hands. Don't play multiples of 10s and 2s. They are very helpful in getting rid of some of your low cards. Sometimes you can have great cards in your hands and you don't want to use them. You can take a chance by flipping over the top card of the draw pile, but you must play the card you flipped, even if it means having to pick up the deck. Don't play your 2 as getting rid of your low cards, since you can play the 2 at any time. Instead, play the next lowest card. You don't want to get stuck with these in your hands. And now here's your stronger dose. Punch the last person still holding cards by making them do a dare, take a shot, or remove an article of clothing. This game can also be turned into a tournament and is more fun with more players. Make everyone pay money to play. The buy-in is completely up to you. 
play the game as usual, but the players still holding cards at the end of the round will be eliminated from the competition. Then reshuffle the deck and deal to the players still remaining in the game. Continue to eliminate them until there is only one person left standing. The person that gets rid of all their cards throughout every round will be the winner of the game and collect the cash. Now let's watch this game in its entirety. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more games. While you're in the waiting room, why don't you try reading my book, Chasing the Fallen Angel. And that's what the doctor ordered.